So I want to shout out a, a huge thank you to parents over the course of the summer term. They obviously had a very different experience having their children at home uh, and seeing at first hand what was going on with them. And parents were magnificent in terms of trying to cope with the uncertainty, providing some structure, staying in touch with the schools. And they indicated that they wanted more support from the schools over the summer. And I now want to turn my thanks to our staff who really went um, above and beyond. At the start of the lockdown period, we very quickly established there were three things we absolutely had to do. One, we had to do as much learning as possible. And we knew we had to do that differently. The second thing was to check up on everyone's well-being make sure that everyone felt supported and understood and had a place to go to if they had concerns. And the third thing was simply to have some fun, to spend some time together, um, enjoying each other's company and each other's talents and, and skills. So um, I really take my hat off to parents and to staff for working so closely together for the benefit of our children. I think the levels of respect and trust in relationships between people has has gone up dramatically. Um, I think the relationship between staff uh, and the children has in many ways become a lot closer. But I, I also think, and some of the most lovely stories, are the stories of parents suddenly connecting I think more closely with the schools. You know, parents obviously concerned, uncertain, worried, having to cope with more. But I think that the way that our staff and our schools have communicated with parents has, has heightened that trust. I think we've learned that mentoring and coaching and supporting is incredibly important. I think we've started maybe to unlock what some of the obstacles to learning have been, where we're actually exploring a bit more with the child, you know, when do they learn best? How do they learn best? With whom do they learn best? And I think we can be moving to a world where there are many more different pathways, many more different ways of, of teaching and learning. The first thing obviously is to say, we want to be COVID-19 safe. We have diligently done risk assessments. We did them back in the summer term when we started to reopen the primaries and the secondaries. And we have diligently been doing risk assessments over the course of this summer. Um, we are very familiar with all the government guidance, uh, all of the measures around hygiene, all of the operational processes in schools are designed to make our children and our staff members absolutely as safe as possible. And we stay on top of uh, the emerging evidence. And uh, if there are any changes that are needed, we will do that. What I'm really interested in is, is certainly I want some nor normality. I want to try and reassure people. Um, but I'd like to think about a better normality rather than a new normality. And I've been so impressed with the humility, with the energy level, with the mindset change of I can do. So I'd urge everyone at the start of this new academic year to really try and get a deep understanding of how our children are. And I want us to turn the funnel upside down and actually create more choices. You know, what if all of our teachers uh, could get closer to and deliver uh, a greater variety of choices for our children? What if our children had the confidence to say, I prefer to do it this way rather than that way? So what I really want, and I think is a key test of our future success, is for parents to say, wow, that is so much better than my own experience of school. And that is so much better than what I see other schools delivering. 
So wouldn't it be absolutely fabulous if every single child at an AT school could say, I can find my remarkable at this school?